Hi, I'm going to make stretcher bars with tightening keys for a frame to take a canvas to be painted. 90 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 44 millimeters. I'll use 18 millimeter by 44 millimeter pine, 12 millimeter by 44 millimeter pine, and 6 millimeter 44 millimeter strip pine. Also, half round 5 millimeter by 13 millimeter pine bead. All these can be bought in 2.4 meter lengths from B and Q wicks etc. Okay, these are the eight pieces for the two 50 centimeter bars, side bars or top bars, whichever way round you have your stretcher frame. And the next step is to glue the bead to the top of the 50 centimeter by 18 centimeter piece, the two pieces. And drop it on. And then repeat that for the other one. As you can see, I've clamped them. And I left them for about three hours. If you haven't got the clamps, you can pin them. These are nice and dry. The next step is to mitre them, the two pieces that you've just, two 50 centimeter pieces with the bead on top, mitre from here to hear both of them. The next step is to glue the top and bottom 50 centimeter sidebar together with the blades in between and the method for this is exactly the same for the other 50 centimeter sidebar and for the 90 centimeter top bars. That should be 90 centimeter top and bottom bars. Okay start with the the bottom piece and glue the blade the 45 centimeter blade to the left hand side my left hand side of the bottom piece and the point lines up on that side and leaves a space on this side and the gap between the gap between the end of the blade on the right hand side and the corner of the mitre is where the key goes in when it's fit when it's glued together and then drop the blade on. Lined up right with the point, lined up nicely. And clamp it and leave it three hours, let it to dry. And repeat that with the other one. Uh, sorry, not the other one, with the top. Now the difference with the top
top of this piece that fits on here is that the blade goes on the right hand side of the piece that has the bead on the top. You can see the blade is on the left hand side there and now it's going to be glued to the right hand side. So turn the piece over which has the bead here, turn it over so you get the bottom surface. Take the blade and it goes, as I said, on the right hand side. And you can take the, you can mark the blade where it finishes on the left hand side and then you can glue, put the glue all over this surface here leaving this part free. And then drop the other blade on, lining it up with the point. And make sure you clean any excess glue from here because you want that to be clean for when the other blade slots into it. And as you can see again, this point, from this point here to the end of the mitre is the place where the blade got, where the key goes in on the other side. Now this can be clamped. Okay, the, the top piece and one blade with the bead have been glued and set. And there's the bottom piece with one blade, which is also glued and set. So the next step is to glue these two together. Blade to blade. Lined up point to point and you can see that the blades are opposite each other at each end. Okay, here it is glued and all the stretcher bars should be exactly the same as this, not in length of course because you've got two that are 90 and two that are 50 centimeters but the gap on this side is above the blade here and on this side the gap is below the blade above the blade below the blade and as I said all of the stretcher blades should be that pattern. Needed for stretcher bars. All glued together in the same method that I've shown you previously. Now it's just to put them together. They should be very tightly fitted. So, For when you need to tighten up your canvas and the canvas goes over gets stretched over this bead which keeps it off the face of the stretcher bar so it doesn't show through the canvas 
I'm going to put the keys in now to show you them, but you, you wouldn't do that. You'd, you'd do the, you'd stretch the canvas over first, nice and tight. There are plenty of videos on how to do that. Uh, but I'll just show you the keys, how, to, how they go in. Okay, here's the frame with the eight keys fitted. And you, you wouldn't fix the stretcher bar. You wouldn't fix the corners with anything. The canvas uh, is stapled to it. And when it does slacken off, then you put these keys in and just you tap them up with a hammer and it's, it uh, tightens up your canvas. Okay, that's, that's it. Uh, hope I made it clear and good luck with doing it.